Hey guys, welcome back to the Barndo Channel. This is Charlie Downs with 1845 Barn Dominiums. On this week's episode of the Barndo Channel, we're here to, in Big Sandy, Texas to bring you a completed final walkthrough tour of the Hickory Road Barn Dominium. This is a two bedroom, two bath Barndo that's about 1800 square foot heated and cooled. We have a 1700 square foot shop attached to the side and then we've got over 2000 square foot of porches also in this layout. We've got a really tall 16 foot uh, eave height with the entire layout, some huge 12 by 14 overhead doors. And you'll see on the colors, we've got charcoal gray on the exterior with black trim on our corners around our windows and doors. And then our windows are black on the exterior, white with interior. And then you'll see underneath those soffits, we brought it all together with ash gray underneath on the soffit color. Just a really beautiful layout, a really cool layout on the interior too. We're going to show you some really nice features that we've got inside there. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and do that now. We would love to have you do that. You can click the subscribe button there on the screen. If you would like to find us on social media, uh, you can check us out on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, also our website, 1845 Barn Dominiums. If you would like to talk to somebody about making your dream home a reality with 1845 Barn Dominiums, whether it's purchasing floor plans, talking to us about a full turnkey build or building a shell with 1845, we would love to talk to you about how to get that process started. So we're gonna get started with a completed tour today in Big Sandy, Texas. We're gonna show you the Hickory Road Barn Dominium. All right, guys. So as we walk in the front door right here, we're gonna walk right into the living and kitchen area. I'm gonna take a moment here and just kind of pan around the entire area. We've got another porch access on the right side of the floor plan there. But well, we've got our living room here, six foot twin windows. Those are 3060 twin windows along the living area. And then you can see our kitchen area there in the back. So this is fully vaulted in here. The beam up top is painted, not stained. We've got our fan there with can lighting and everything, which is standard package. We have vinyl plank flooring throughout the house. As I make my way over into the kitchen area, you can see we've, kind of, we've got grays and then we've got blue on the island here. And I love this gray granite countertop. I'll give you guys a good look at that. Really good color combination. The sink is also a dark gray. You can see our upper and lower cabinetry that we've got here in the kitchen microwave above the oven range combo. We'll give you the backside view here. We've got our dishwasher and our undermount farmhouse sink in the island with cabinetry there below. And so this is your view of the living room from the kitchen island. So all one combined room here and just off of the kitchen we have our pantry. So inside here, we've got shelving, pretty much floor to ceiling. And I had a, actually had a customer ask me today, how do we determine the height of those shelves and how they're spaced? And we actually come in and talk to you about that, let you kind of custom design that. And we allow our, our trim guys will come in and actually draw on the wall your spacing. They'll measure and mark what you want and build it to suit. Now, this is a two bedroom layout. So we've got bedroom two right here. Just outside of that bedroom, we have our mechanical room. You can see our fresh air right there. And then as we come over here, we're gonna come in. This is essentially bedroom two. This is not the master. We do have one by four and one by six trim throughout the house. Got a single 3060 window there. And we've talked before in our videos, we've got our TV plug up here that the customer has requested. Now, if you look at the door here, this is our closet door. We've got butted with an overhang with our door trim. So those are one by fours. They are essentially stacked on top of each other or butted. And then they have a little bit of an overhang over the top. In the closet here, again, an area that's custom designed by the homeowner. They tell us kind of what the layout needs to be. Of course, we take advantage of all the space that we can. And then we discuss with the homeowner if they want shoe cubbies like that, or if they just want hanging rods and shelving, we let the homeowner determine that and tell us what that layout's gonna be. 
So as we head out and back into the hallway, we come down and we've got our second bathroom right here. So we've got a full bath right here. That is a cultured marble shower. We do have a shower niche there. And then we have a built-in bench. A lot of people ask with that cultured marble, are you able to do the niche and the bench and everything else like you would in a tile shower? And the answer to that is yes. Slightly recessed pan there and glass sliding doors. We have cabinetry over our toilet, cultured marble countertops here that are gonna match the shower and then shaker style cabinetry throughout the house. And as we come out of the bathroom, we come down the hall just a little bit and we're gonna be in our laundry room. So we have a smaller window here, letting some natural light in. All upper cabinetry here, and we do have a hanging rod set up underneath that uh, top cabinetry. We will have our dryer in the corner over here. You can see our recessed dryer vent here. You can see our uh, water hookups right here for our washer and dryer. And then we've got some other plugs here just in case we wanted to put a refrigerator or anything else. Shaker style cabinets again. And then trying to take advantage of all the space that we can. We've got another storage closet here with, that has our breaker box. We've got our internet and everything set up in here with just another room with some extra shelving, some extra storage set up in here. Again, designed by the homeowner, trying to take advantage of the space as best we can. And as we head out of the laundry room, I'm not gonna take you through the master wing yet. I wanna take you outside and show you uh, this 1,700 square foot shop. But as we step from the garage, I shouldn't say shop, it's really a garage. From the garage, as we step in, we've got built-in cubbies here. And we've got cabinets up top that are shaker style. We've got some hanging right there. And then we've got some storage down low below the bench area. So a good catch-all cubby area as you come in from the garage. So the garage is huge, 1,700 square foot total. We've got three 12 by 14 doors. And then we've got 10 by 10 door here on the side. So we could easily pull an RV vehicle, just about anything we want inside here. Uh, we have three inch vinyl back insulation, which is a standard in most all of our shops or garages, unless the customer tells us that they would like to have spray foam, we can do that as well. Now to take advantage of storage and to access above, we have a door put up here. Or this homeowner has told us, hey, I've got a ladder. You put a door there, I'll take care of the ladder part of it. So we did exactly what they asked us to do. We've got custom overhead doors that you can see on the outside view are beautiful. Did a good job of color matching there with those doors and the exterior. And then we're gonna head back inside here and I'm gonna take you over to the master wing and show you what we've got here. So if I take a right in from the garage, it's gonna take me into the master bath. So we switched up a little bit. We've got granite countertops in here to match our kitchen. I'll take you down there in just a second. Our master closet is in here as well. Again, a custom layout, hanging rods. We've got uppers and lowers here, just one upper there. And then we actually have a built-in dresser in here as well. Another option that homeowners ask us about is, hey, if I don't want that in my bedroom taking up space, can I have that built into the closet? And the answer is yes. So again, we've got our shaker style cabinets painted white in here. We have a narrow linen cabinet in between the two vanities that gives us some extra storage and i love that gray granite that we have for those countertops now i'm going to come over here i've got to turn this light on over here to show you the shower and our vent fan it's in the shower area as well this is a tile shower that we've got in here 
we have a pebble floor. Again, it's shower niche here with pebble inlay there to match the flooring. Our bench that's built in here, we also have a pebble on the top there. And then we have dual shower heads. So we have a standard shower head here. And then we also have an oversized rain head shower. So you can't run away from the water in here. You're not getting away from it. And this is a full walk-in shower. Blending in or bringing in those grays to match the countertops. I'll turn that light back off. And then also in here we have an extra linen closet with some shelving, just more storage. Again, trying to take advantage of all the space that we can. So we've got more shelving there. And then we also have our enclosed toilet room or water closet. Shaker style cabinetry up above the toilet. And so one of the coolest features of the house is we have a safe room built in. A gun room. Now this, this room is framed out, wood framed out. And then you can see that we have center block walls here that are still reinforced. And you can see above we've got it vented for air and we've got steel plating on the roof. So we can use this as a storm shelter. We can use it as a gun safe. So lots of things we could do with that room. And in our last room here is the master bedroom. So again, vinyl plank floors, one by four, one by six trim. We've got a 3060 twin window. You can see the white on the inside there. We said earlier, these are black on the outside, white on the inside. Really large master suite. Again, flows right over from bedroom into bathroom into laundry and right out into the garage. So you could come in from the garage, throw clothes in the laundry and be in the shower very easily. And this takes us right back out into the living and kitchen area. So I'm gonna give you one more view of the living and kitchen. So if I stand here and pan around, big open area. Beautiful color choices by the homeowner. And this floor plan came together really, really well. We will have this floor plan available online on our website. So if it's one that you're interested in or would like to try to modify to make it your own, you can find that at 1845barnuminiums.com. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this week's episode of the Barndo Channel. Again, we're outside of Big Sandy, Texas with the Hickory Road Barn Dominium. This is a beautiful layout, really cool layout that we've got here. 16 foot tall eave heights, two bedroom, two full baths. You'll see vinyl plank flooring on the inside and then that really cool uh, safe room that we've got built in there. That's out of center block walls. We've got some steel plating included in that framework to reinforce that particular room. This turned out to be a really beautiful Barndo. If you're interested in looking at the floor plan for this one, possibly purchasing that floor plan or looking at possibly building something similar to this with 1845 barn dominiums we would love to hear from you if you like this video and want to see more videos in the future you can subscribe to our channel you can click on the button you see on the screen and subscribe we'd love to keep you updated on what's going on on the barn Doe channel if you want to check us out on social media those are tiktok instagram and facebook you can check in 1845 barn dominiums and then of course our website if you or anybody else you know is interested in making their dream home a reality with 1845 barn dominiums whether it's floor plans a shell or a full turnkey key build, we would love to have one of our sales team members talk to you about how to get that process started. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. We'll see you again next week.